Dang, Coastal Cottage, what? Who is she? Okay, we have six brand new spring summer fragrances from Candle Science. I do have a seventh like bonus one. It's not part of the spring summer launch, but I was interested in trying it and it is springy summery. So I'm gonna include that as well. I didn't get all of them because they didn't speak to me and I didn't think that they would fit into my product line. So I do have six of the, I don't know how many it was, maybe 10 or 11. <laughs> so we're gonna dive into those today. All right, let's get into it. The first one is Golden Hour. Boop. All right, we have top notes of orange bergamot. We have top notes of orange and bergamot. The middle notes are coconut and gardenia. And the base is musk, amber, and vanilla. All right, let's give it a swirl. Ooh, oh, that is so fresh. Okay, the coconut I definitely smell first, but that gardenia and the bergamot is, is gosh, golden hour. It's like got the picture of like a sunset or like the sun setting in the clouds you know, golden hour of the day. Oh my gosh, this is so fresh. I'm getting the coconut first, followed by the gardenia and the vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is so good. You know what? This would make an amazing soap. Oh my gosh. You know what I would blend this with? I would blend this with mahogany shea. So if you haven't seen my fragrances that you need for awesome blending check out that video mahogany shea is in my list this would be a great pairing because oh, it would really like elevate it make it super like spa luxury you know this would be a super fresh room spray a soap a hand sanitizer oh i'm super into that that is gorgeous oh yeah i love that i'm gonna try blending this with mahogany shea <laughs> The next fragrance is called Bohemian Rose. Now this is an interesting one for me because I don't love rose scents, but when they're done well and they're blended well, I really enjoy them and I think it's something that I am looking to offer in my product line. So wanted to give this a chance. The top notes are basil and grapefruit. That's, that's very exciting, wow. The middle is rose and magnolia. And the base is patchouli. So there's a lot of things in here that I love. <laughs> so let's, I can smell the rose. Like I open the bottle, it's the first thing I get is the rose. Oh God, okay, okay. That is super nice. I just drooled, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I think with the rose with the magnolia kind of ticks down like that old lady skew that I think rose can have. Oh my gosh. I can smell four of these notes. Like it's very clear. It's basil and grapefruit, rose magnolia. I'm not getting the patchouli, but like in a product, it may come to life and be really prominent. This is so light and delicate. This is really nice. This would definitely need to be blended, um, but I think on its own, you could make a really beautiful soap for spring. Yeah, that is super nice. I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed by that. The next fragrance oil is Vanilla Orchid. Vanilla orchid. The top notes for this are orange and green leaves. The middle is jasmine and heliotrope. And the base is sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. I think when I when I think of vanilla orchid, I think of like those 90s body sprays and perfumes that you could get at like CVS. <laughs> the profile too, like vanilla, musk, and jasmine is also like just very reminiscent of my of the 90s for me. All right, let's see. Whoa, Whoa that smells like a lot of things. <laughs> I'm getting the orange and the heliotrope, I think, and the vanilla first and foremost. So the orange, it's very, very orangey, very citrusy. The heliotrope is bringing like a little bit of floral, but like some powder notes to it. Um, and then the vanilla. This smells like almost, it almost smells like a European candy that I've tried before and I don't know the name. I will try and find it. Wow, this is interesting. Oh yeah, the orange is first, like it's just hanging out. You're getting the floral with the jasmine, the heliotrope. Yeah, the heliotrope is like, 
and it's just I think it's the powderiness there. Sandalwood, musk, vanilla. I think everyone is here to play, but the orange is really the orange and vanilla is the first and foremost thing. Okay, you know what it kind of smells like? It kind of smells like a bougie orange creamsicle. <laughs> super orangey, super vanilla, creamy, uh, with some musk. That's very interesting. Yeah, oh wow. Um, that I think this would be great as a blend. I think I would blend that. I wouldn't add any more vanilla because it's already super sweet. But yeah, it's, it definitely has got orange creamsicle vibes for me. All right, the next fragrance is called Olive Leaf and Citron. I'm super excited for this one. The top notes are bergamot, marine, and lemon. The middle is grass, rose, oh, interesting, olive and green leaves. And the base is wood and musk. Let's give it a whirl. Ooh! Oh my God, that is fantastic. Oh yeah. yeah. This would be a gorgeous, clean, bright candle. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm getting all, I'm getting the grass first, followed by the citrus of the bergamot. You've got lemon. The wood and the musk are like super low profile, but everything, the olive, super front and center too. It's like a grassy, olivey, citrus situation. <laughs> You know what this would blend really well with would be redwoods and moss, also from Candle Science. I think just pulling in more of those like warm, woody scents. Um, could even add some sandalwood, but there's definitely some cedar in redwoods and moss uh, that I think would just help play up um, how gorgeous and like green this smells. It's earthy without it being dirty, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm into, I'm into it. All right, the next fragrance oil is called, I love this name, Coastal Cottage. Yo, if you don't love this name, do you even have a pulse? We have top notes of bergamot and sea salt. A lot of bergamot across the spring summer line. The middle notes are peony and mint. And the base is juniper, light musk, and marine. All right, let's give it a swirl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. I get it. Oh, it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Oh my God, the peony and the bergamot are like, I'm getting some of the sea salt, but I'm getting a ton of that light musk. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh, it's super sweet, very fresh. It's like the picture, if you were, if you lived along the coast in this quaint little cottage and you were sitting out on your deck, reading a book with uh, a delicious drink. <laughs> yeah, the peony is like, ah, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I would blend this. I feel like it's like perfect on its own. What do they recommend? Mountain mist, oh, I can see that. Coconut soleil. Coconut Soleil is so coconut, like it's so forward coconut. I feel like, I don't know, may, maybe it'd be too sweet. Moroccan cashmere, ooh yeah. Bring more of the sexy musks to the potty. I'm gonna try that with Moroccan cashmere. Lovely, absolutely lovely. I didn't know what to expect, honestly, like coastal cottage, what does that even mean? It means different things to different people. I love that, that's unexpected. That is unexpected. Next one, I'm very excited for this one. Uh, it's called Sunwashed. Got big plans for this if it, if it works out. <laughs> the top notes are pettigrain, orange, and grapefruit. The middle is cotton blossom and coconut. And the base is musk, wood, and powder. Let's give it a swirl. <laughs> oh my I love this okay this is my favorite oh shoot oh shoot okay 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 I am getting coconut and cottonwood right off the bat this smells so fresh and clean and like I feel the wind blowing in the air um oh my gosh 
holy moly this is gorgeous yeah i think i'm getting the i'm getting citrus from the orange and the grapefruit but the cotton blossom and the coconut are like and then yeah it's powdery and musky this would be an incredible soap do you know what i would blend with this i would blend coconut soleil with this i think the sweetness and the coconutiness would go so well with the cotton blossom oh shoot this is so good you guys get a sample um if you already have grand plans like i did for like soaps <laughs> and uh other products holy moly this okay that's my name right that's my favorite sun wash then golden hour then olive leaf then coastal cottage those are my faves oh okay those are the six that were in the spring summer release but i do have one that i wanted to try out this has been around for a long time so it's probably something you're familiar with if you're already um, a maca and this is called mango and coconut milk i don't know why i don't already own this <laughs> or haven't already smelled it i should say top notes are pineapple and orange mm. the middle is mango and peach and the base is coconut milk and sugar oh my gosh right off the bat i'm getting pineapple and mango <laughs> before i even get this to my nose Whew. yeah it is pineapple and god this smells like it smells like a smoothie that i love to make which has mango and pineapple in it but it's like it's like a tropical smoothie dang this is so good yeah and then the peach is it similar to a mai tai but like elegant <laughs> You know what I mean? Like a Mai Tai has all the juices. The pineapple, oh actually, no, it doesn't have peach, does it? Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, this is super sweet. I think this, is, you definitely would wanna blend this to knock it down. You could fold something in like a mahogany shea. You could add some lavender to this or both. Wow, this is good. Um, Santal and coconut would be good with this. I'm trying to think about all the things that I love to blend with and how they would fit into here. Oh gosh, yeah. Okay, that is good. It's very sweet, however, so I would definitely want to blend that. Gosh, my favorites, sun washed, <laughs> followed by golden hour, and then olive leaf and citron. Those are the top three. And then Coastal Cottage. Dang, Coastal Cottage, what? Who is she? It's like clean sheets, sea salt I'm really getting now. Just like sitting on the line by the ocean. Dang, I'm gonna smell them all again. Oh, yes, oh my God. Olive and Citron is so, I, there's a restaurant here in California. It's up in the mountains. And this smells like what it smells like there, just naturally, because it's full of greenery and foliage. It's got um, flowers and all sorts. It, this is, it reminds me of it. I'm gonna have to find that and share that with you. Yeah, golden hour is so dang good. But you know, you know I love coconutty, musky, delicious scents like that. So anyway, <laughs> I am going to play with these and then I'm going to share what I ended up making with these. Uh, I'm trying to get this video fairly quickly just because I don't want it to be spring and you haven't had a chance to um, watch reviews of fragrance oils. So I don't know how much I will get to, but I will share it in this video right after these clips. So thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.